Praise the Lord children. Welcome to Aviva Grace YouTube channel. Children, do you remember God promised Abraham and later his son Isaac that a great nation would come from them and that they would have many descendants. Yes. Isaac and Rebecca were married for 20 years before they had children. Finally, Rebecca became pregnant. And guess what? She was going to have twins. But there was a problem. Rebecca could feel the twins fighting inside of her, and she did not like that at all. So she asked God about it. The Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb and two people from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other and the older will serve the younger. When the twins were born, they were very different from one another. The first boy was red and very hairy when he was first born and they named him Esau. Isaac liked Esau the best. The second boy was born right after the first one. In fact, he was holding his brother's heel when he was born. And his parents named him Jacob. Jacob's skin was very soft and smooth. Rebecca liked Jacob the best. However, parents should love each of the children and not have favorites and should not do any partiality. But let us go back to our story. As they grew, Esau loved to be outside and was a very good hunter. His father Isaac loved to eat the tasty meat from the animals Esau caught. Esau was his father's favorite son. Jacob was quieter and enjoyed working around home. His mother Rebecca loved him best. One day, Jacob was home cooking some stew. Esau had been out hunting and when he returned he was very hungry. "Jacob, give me some of that red stew," begged Esau. "I am starved." "Not unless you sell me your birthright," said Jacob. "Birthright? If I die, my birthright won't do me any good," said Esau. "And I'm just about to die." Sure, I will give you my birthright if you will give me some stew. So after Esau promised to sell his birthright to Jacob, Jacob brought him bean stew, bread and something to drink. Esau thought he had made a good trade, but really Jacob was the one who got the better deal. Jacob had played a mean trick on his brother. Because he was the oldest, Esau would have received special treatment when his father died. To have the birthright was a very special privilege and duty. He would be in charge of many things. But Esau did not take this seriously. He gave all of that away for some stew. Esau had given up his birthright to his younger brother, but there was something else that was very special in a family. the father of the family would give a special blessing to his son in the blessing the father would say who would get the most respect and who would be the leader of the family he would give good wishes of wealth power and safety for his son's future so children what do we learn from the story We see that Esau had given up his birthright for some temporary stuff like a stew that could quench his hunger. However, remember children, we should always hold on to the permanent blessing that God has given us and should not give up on that for any temporary pleasure, satisfaction because the blessing the permanent blessing is always far better than the temporary one 
For more such videos, please like, share and subscribe to Aviva Grace YouTube channel.